Let's go. I'm finally here. Yeah, I'm trying to catch up on what we had. What did we miss? I'm investing in 80 plus team of the week goalkeepers. Is it good? I think they will rise because I'm buying them under 200k. Maybe. I mean, it's. I don't. I mean, it that low. At 82, I don't know if goalkeepers even matter. Is silver fishing still reliable in end of the season? Yes, absolutely. I heard since the glitch where people got pierced, EA have dropped the rate of getting RK players from Real Madrid match to zero. Is this true? I no, it's not true. Uh, they uh, if they dr they can't drop it to zero. There, if you remember what happened with. EA getting in trouble for drop rates um, and then they had to show percentages and stuff because of the gambling issue that is, countries that did not allow for gambling um, they they're not allowed to change drop rates uh, without letting us know and if they say that something is possible it must be possible it doesn't mean they couldn't have dropped that, taken the drop rate down to so low that nobody gets it, but you can't go to zero. Should I invest in other positions in Retro SBC in case EA changed the formation? I think investing in Masters is a good idea no matter what, and it shouldn't be dictated directly by the formation of an SBC. I fish four of yours. It's possible to understand the flow of my market and know what days they are spiking the most. Not really. I haven't seen any kind of a specific day that stuff gets better or stuff gets worse as far as silvers go. I mean, you can kind of track elites and masters, but not silvers. Jay says, hey, I love the latest podcast. Laugh so hard after the diet pills pizza story. I almost had a sharp moment myself. October because of preseason. You guys can argue all you want when the season's going to end. No one is going to convince me otherwise that it won't be September until October 1st is here and we still have FIFA Mobile 20. All right, let's try uh, Player of the Month tournament. I haven't even started it yet. What do you mean by reset? What does the reset affect? Everything. The Once the, the game resets after preseason, the only thing that carries over is your now and later players, your legacy squad, and your FIFA points. You lose your, um, you lose your coins. You lose your gems. You lose all your players. You lose everything. I have 2,200 icon points. Shall I claim defenders for XP or wait for the new set of icons today? I'm waiting for the new set today. And then I'm probably going to spend all my icons points today. Is preseason the last event? Yes, preseason is always the last event of the season. Once preseason starts, there may be something else that happens on top of it. Usually they have um, a second event running at the same time at the beginning of preseason, and then it kind of just falls away. Why do you want to drop? Uh, the reason to drop on the division rivals is your reset brings you back based on where you ended the week. So if you stagger your division rivals so that you finish high one week and then finish low the next, finish high, finish low, it maximizes your rewards every other week. And that allows you to not put much effort into it on your off weeks. And I haven't dropped in a while. I've been kind of seeing what would happen if I put a bunch of effort into it every week to get back to masters each week and claim the player but i decided to just go ahead and drop bring it back down i have 150 player of the month points should i claim antonio believing that there's not going to be another player of the month or wait till next month's player month and if there's another claim him and sell him asap for profit you honestly you can't do it you can't claim a player of the month player right away and earn any profit that that's that was months ago I mean, you could maybe make a half a mil to a mil more, but you have to undercut suggested so low when you do that that it's to get it to sell, it really isn't even. In. Assuming season ends mid-September, what OVR is everyone aiming for? Ooh, that's a good pull. 
We'll run that one next. I'm going for over 160. I would like to hit 165 to 170 before the end of the season. I did it with Donna by selling me at 7 mil. Yeah, that was months and months and months ago. Donna was pre-pandemic. I think most whales, guys that spend money on the game, understand that there is a reset, and I think they're okay with it. I wonder if I can do this one. 80 to 89. Robinson. Nope. 500 boost. Here they come. Should we fish on Team of the Week cards? Only elites. That's it. We will have now and later full with Chelsea players? No. No way. It's normal the price is going so low on one day around 800 coins and in the next day just crazy with spikes. Yeah, that's exactly how the market works. That's why fishing is so important. Let's get done. We got one match and 25 more matches. Ah. I didn't look that there was SPC in Retro Room and sold 90 rated center mid and left bid for 1.5. Yeah. Yeah, you got to pay attention to SPCs. Yeah, it's an easy win if I'm really focused, but I'm not very focused. Yay, Antoine confirms that second week retro memory lane will be based on only skill games. Yeah. Sure. FIFA Jesse cheered X10. The guide says the second chapter is skill games. I checked lol. So what are we saying? That in the guide it says the second week is all skill games? All right, we'll let that play. I'll go to the guide because you guys got me all curious now. I don't believe it at all. There's no way they're going to make a memory lane all skill games. That is equal parts stupid and just pointless. That's just stupid. They did update the the guide. Retro memory chapters. Play matches here to earn coins, skill boost, blah, blah, blah. Retro memory chapter week two. Play skill games. For random rewards, including a hazard key, complete all nine skill games for an extra 100 retro points. This chapter counts towards the end of an era Mario Gomez milestone. Skill games. Skill games. What? What the hell? Ah, uh, that's... I, I think you guys think that's funny, but that's really, really, really gonna suck. It's, yeah, it's the worst thing ever. I don't know. That's just dumb as shit. Not only is it stupid, because it the whole point of those are the matches, but it says it's only 10. It says there's only 10. So there's... Maybe they'll have matches in there or something else. There's got to be a twist. If they just do 10 skill games, and that's the entire memory lane, and there's no SBC... God, God. Yes, EA took a big shit on their heads. If EA does, does if it's all skill games for the second retro, good God. I mean, talk about phoning shit in. And what sucks is I was just talking earlier today about how Retro Stars is a halfway decent event for all the shit events they've been giving us. So I should not sell my masters? No, don't sell your masters. Definitely don't sell them because skill games are coming. It's almost like everyone bitched and complained about no grinding. And EA was like, here, hold my beer. Guess what? No matches. Just skill games. It's not grinding skill games, though. Too dumb to be true. Yeah, and they will. They'll take 10 stamina because we just expect it to. What are the new icons? Pele, that's the Brazilian striker. That makes sense. Let's see, who do we miss out on? Perlo. Vandersar. Yeah, Netherlands. I, I swear I, I looked at it and thought it was... Uh, I glanced at the flag and thought it was a Russian flag. Nakata. So let's see, who in here do we want? Let's get Pele, just to get him. 
Look at that young little face. Should we get him? Let's go ahead and get him. What do we got? What are the challenges here? Liganos. Erdovice. Pro League. RSL. I don't even know if I have any of those. There it is. Does anyone have a recommendation for a CDM that's either La Liga or Bundesliga? Yeah, party. Chemistry. It, this is easy. Chemistry is easy. Let's see. Junker. We can give junkers away. There we go. We got another one undone. Will Messi affect the price of Firmino? Maybe. That's actually a possibility. I don't know. I think Firmino has more to do with people just want him to want him. Okay, here we go. MLS and Liga. This is what I've been looking for. Goddamn, these are some easy SPCs this week. Lots of leagues, and it's all old leagues. Have I gotten Veghorst yet? No. If there is even an SBC in the formation, if we're now getting a bunch of stupid-ass skill games, a bunch of bullshit. Do you have those Team of the Season leads, or have you been purchasing them now? I've got all this. This is just stuff that timed out in the market. I haven't spent a single coin in any of this stuff. I was supposed to put those in four hours ago, and I just got swamped this morning and never got around to it. But I just I haven't had a whole lot of big sales at Icon Reset, so I didn't I didn't worry about it. Holy shit! There we go. Got Romero. My luck on this stuff has been so good. We've opened it eleven times and gotten seven players out of eleven attempts. That's nuts. I'd rather have a 91 goalkeeper, so we'll claim Vandersar. Okay, so who have we not claimed yet? We got Pele, we got, we'll grab Pele. Yeah, I've done it 11 times. Will preseason have a lot of coins? Yes, preseason will have a ton of coins. Why am I claiming these icons? Because I am committing to the end of the season being September. And those are a 90, a 91, and a 97 that will be used for rank ups or XP. That's it. I grabbed a goalkeeper, a midfield, and a striker. I'm going to put together a highlight of today's Twitch stream, and I'm thinking right now it's going to be nothing more than me bitching about skill games in week two. Okay, how many matches did we get in? We got the icons in. The SPC icons are done. And we got 11 matches in. That's not bad. That's where we'll end it today. Thanks for hanging out, watching me play some Player of the Month, talking about the chat, or talking about the market, all the... Bullshit coming with uh, week two of Retro Stars. If they, if seriously, if EA phones it in with extreme skill games, I mean, that'll just be a giant, you know, from EA. That's it. That's all I got to say.